This has been a uh, heartbreaking, heart-wrenching experience for me, for my colleagues, for you, and for the world to see the people of Israel subjected to such brutality, such heinous acts by individuals whose purpose is unimaginable. My heart breaks not just for our friends and allies, but for people who I love and hold dear. Now, there are two things I'd like to mention, um, because I agree with what my colleagues have just uh, said, and I'm not going to say the same thing, but I, I want to add just two, two points. Um, number one, you're going to see uh, pictures, uh, as you could imagine, and probably already have, of, uh, of, of Palestinian civilians that are uh, going to be uh, injured and killed by virtue of the conflict which is ongoing. I hope we recognize that those individuals are being killed because of Hamas, not because of Israel. In many respects, most directly, Hamas is holding their own population, the, the Palestinian population, as human shields. They're using Palestinians to protect their own lives, Hamas's lives. And therefore, when, when Israel takes action to try and go after Hamas and to take out its leadership, there will be individuals who are civilians and innocent that will be killed, and they will parade that as if this is some horror being perpetrated by Israel. Do not forget the lives that are, you're going to see lost on TV over the coming long period of time, potentially. Israeli lives and Palestinian lives are all the result of Hamas. And number two, and this is a point, I think, for my, my friends in the United States in particular, um, there is a growing uh, sentiment in, in my country of isolationism, which is, you know, let's not worry about what's going on in the rest of the world. Let everybody else worry about those things. This is a bipartisan group that has a different point of view, which is that we want to stand with our allies and with our friends. But I would note with regards to those that have isolationist tendencies, that there's a war being waged, a war being waged against free countries, against democracies, against freedom. And it's being waged by Hamas and Russia and China, India, excuse me, uh, Iran. There are, there, are, uh, there are nations, Iran, Russia, China, that want to overthrow democracies generally and, and uh, subvert the cause of freedom. And backing away and saying, hey, we're not going to worry about it, is not going to end their effort. That war would only continue and spread further and ultimately involve more and more of humanity. So we're involved in the world because it's in America's interest, it's in Israel's interest, it's in all of our allies' interests, it's in the world's interest. This is obviously a period of great uh, sadness. And meeting today with the families of hostages has been um, something I will never forget. And uh, can only imagine, can only imagine the horror in their lives. My heart uh, reaches to them. My prayers join with yours to see those hostages return to their loved ones. Thank you, Chairman.